showing you uh, hydrogen which we can right click to get it you can head over to their website which is linked down in the description below here you can basically see exactly what the client is anyways for the download we can press on this download button up here which will bring us to the download area and we can download the universal jar file this will bring us to their github page where we can click on the latest version, make sure it's the latest one, and just simply download that. If just paid attention, then you'll already know that you need Forge for Minecraft 1.8.9 to be able to run this. Uh, as you see, I've got Forge right over here. If you're not sure where to get it, or you don't have it installed yet, then it will be linked down in the description below. Anyways, as you can see, I've got Hydrogen over here in my downloads, if you have that as well. Uh, oh. Actually, by the way, this got flagged for some reason for me. I mean, Hydrogen is open source, so it's verified to be safe. If it gets flagged for you and you can't download it because of that, I'll link a tutorial on how to bypass that in the description. Never, ever turn off your antivirus completely. I would never tell you to do that, and you should never. Any tutorial that tells you to do that is, uh, don't, don't follow it. Anyways, press on Windows and R at the same time. Then in the box that pops up, type app data, then hit enter or click on OK. Then in this area over here, go into folder called roaming, then dot Minecraft. And then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. And we can just drag hydrogen right into this mods folder over here. Fantastic. Once you've done that, we can close up this open up the Minecraft launcher and launch Forge for 1.8.9. Anyways, here we are on the hydrogen home screen. As you can see, it's a uh, looking pretty nice over here anyways right now i'll just head into a random single player world and briefly show you what this is all about so as you can see i have uh, loaded into minecraft over here and the cool thing is is that we'll immediately get a little bit of information right down here in the chat so uh it tells you the current version you're using as well as how to get started so to get started we can press on left shift and that is going to open up the click gui area which is this right over here. This contains uh, sections, which we can right click on with our mouse. And that is going to drop down all of the utilities that this client has. Uh, we can hover over these and that's going to give us a description of what these utility does. We can click on them to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off. And you can right click on some of these and that's going to give you um, a customization menu. As you can see, some of them have more customization than others. The ones already yellow have been turned on by default, as you can see. So that's pretty neat. Um, we can see on our screen, there's already a few things. So we can see the hydrogen watermark up in the top left hand side. And if I turn on some utilities, uh, let's turn on these four. Then as you can see, they'll be listed on the top right hand side as a part of the array list. Uh, okay, <laughs> so basically... Uh, that's the array list, all part of the HUD, which we can see over here. You can turn off the HUD entirely, or we can turn off these um, individually. This way, the watermark and stuff is all going to be gone, but um, our utilities and the client is still going to be active. For right now, I'll just turn all these back off again, and I'll actually turn these on. Um, in the GUI area, this is a part I highly recommend you look at uh, for the click GUI. In this customization menu, you can customize this entire click GUI. Together with the keybind, it's set to left shift, which makes shifting kind of awkward. So I definitely recommend rebinding this. I'd often rebind it to the right shift button. That way I can shift my left shift and open that with the right shift. Um, for the rest, here in this HUD area, you can customize the HUD elements. Uh, and then in the main menu area, you can customize that as well. So those are some pretty large customizations. For the rest, honestly, this client should be pretty self-explanatory. And uh, yeah, although that wasn't actually all that this client has to offer. Uh, you'll remember that earlier we got some stuff in the chat over here. And this client actually has another functionality in the chat. It has commands. So similar how in regular Minecraft you would use slash to prefix your commands. We use the dot over here. And we can type dot help in the chat. And that is going to give us a list of all the commands. Which there is not a lot of. But there's a few commands over here. It tells you how to use them as you can see and it also tells you exactly what the command does so let's for an example over here say we want to bind um let's see what utility do we want to bind i'll bind the auto bow 
Uh, so we can do dot bind auto bow and then what key do we want to bind it to maybe the K and now as you can see it's bound auto bow to K so that's basically how to use the commands uh, yeah for right now that was basically that thank you ever so much for watching and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one bye bye